Hey guys, today you're going to learn a little bit about how you can use PicMonkey, which is a website to edit some images uh, to share with people on your social media pages and then also to create cover pages, not cover pages, sorry, cover photos for the challenge groups that you might be running um, here coming up soon. So I'm going to try my best to keep it simplified, but at the same time try to give you as much information as possible. But um, once you get into it and you just start playing around with things, you'll see that there's way more options than I can possibly show you in one quick video to give you some tips, okay? So I'm gonna share my screen here so that you can kind of see what I'm doing. But basically what I, what I have done is I've gone onto Google and I typed in Summer Strong um, from Beachbody because that's kind of a challenge that's upcoming. And instead of starting brand new from scratch, I wanted to see what kind of images were out there already. And um, there's quite a few when you just go to Google Images. So I saved one of those images to my computer, and then I'm going to edit that picture and show you how we can um, change things that it already has on there. So I'm going to share my screen here for just a second, and um, we will see how I edit. We're going to hmm, go here. Share screen. Okay. So this is what um, PicMonkey looks like when um, you come up to that main main page there. And I'm trying to hide some of these things here because I can't see all my options. I'm trying to move these out of the way. There we go. Okay. Hey, this is how we roll in Team by the Fire. We just keep it real. So um, here is PicMonkey.com. And then you'll see here's my Google page that I just typed in um, Beachbody Summer Strong. And this is the image that I liked. So if this was going to be my cover photo for the challenge group, um, I liked it. But April 4th has already passed. So dang, what do I do? Okay. So you go back to PicMonkey, which I've saved. I've saved this to my computer. Okay. Go back to PicMonkey and I'm going to click edit. And so then I just find it on my computer. And that's the one that I want to start editing. All right. So there's all kinds of choices that you can do here. I actually kind of like what it says and I like the look of it. So this one might not be too hard for me to edit, but I definitely need to change the date. So the way that you can cover this up begins April 4th um, is you can come over here to this little butterfly symbol, which says overlays. When you click on the overlays, it comes up with all different kinds of things you can add to the picture. Geometric shapes, hearts, um, doodly hearts, anything that has this little crown next to it, you have to pay to use. Um, I use the free version and have never really needed any more of, the, of those kinds of things. So feel free to pay for it if you like, but um, I'm going to show you free versions. So you can scroll down here and see all the different things you can put on top of this picture. Okay? But in order to cover something up, what I typically do, as I click on geometric and I will click on the rectangle so that way I can customize how long or how wide I want it to be. If you click on the square, the square will, um, when you drag it from the corner, it just gets bigger all the way around and sometimes I still want it to stay skinny or longer so I choose the rectangle. So the rectangle pops up. So down here is where I really want it to be covering up the words. So I'm obviously going to drag it. I don't want it to cover up that G, so that's why I chose the rectangle instead of the square, and now I can kind of move that down. All right, so you could keep it that color if you want. It kind of matches what the other Serve Your Strong is, or you can come over here and choose a different color, like any color you want. You just follow along over here and you find one that you want, or if you don't want it to be a color and you want it to match a background, this little eyedropper right here, if you click on that, that's basically going to let you choose anywhere on the picture a color. So if you want it to match those words, you want it to match her shirt, you want it to match her jean shorts, her skin color, you can pick whatever you want it to look like. So it can kind of blend with um, the theme already, or you can just make it look like the background, and now it kind of just looks like it's disappeared, gone. Um, but really, when you move your mouse over it, it's really still there. So if you want to add text and maybe say begins April 18th, 
then what you would do is you would go over and you would add text. But before I do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on this shape and I'm going to say send to back because I want it to be the furthest back and I want to put my text on top of it. Okay. All right. So I clicked and now it's not selected. So it doesn't even look like it's there. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to click on my T and it's going to bring up every kind of font that you could possibly want. Again, as you scroll down, anytime you see one that's got a crown next to it, that's one that you have to pay for. So just pick one that you like or that goes with your theme. And let's say I'm going to click this one. And then I'm going to click Add Text. My box is going to pop up here. And I'm going to say Begins April 18th. You have options to center it. You have options to make it bold all kinds of things that you want to do. And I'm going to drag it, oh, goodness, there we go. Drag it down to where I want it. Now, I can make it bigger, just like we do kind of in regular Word documents, and that makes it bigger here. I can drag it down and make it um, bigger by doing that. There's all kinds of choices that you can do. You can change the size over here. You can change the size by dragging it here. If you highlight it, you can change the color. Okay, lots of choices. If it's highlighted, you can change the text. So find something that you like and then you're going to go with it. So begins April 18th. And maybe that's a little bit too big. I don't know. So I'm going to make it smaller. Okay, so that is definitely um, an easy option to pick an image that's already created, maybe from another coach, and maybe it doesn't say begins April 4th. Maybe it has their team name on it. Maybe it has um, their app symbol like at KM Hendershot, um, their Instagram handle, and you want to make it yours. So remember, you're going to go to the overlays. I typically use um, the rectangle, but depending on the shape of what they already have, you choose any of these. You could put a, a fancy heart over it if you wanted to. You can do anything you want um, and overlay and cover up something, okay? So you have um, other options up here where you could put a frame on your um, picture and change the thickness if you want to. You can change the inner color, and so maybe you want it to match. Maybe you want it to match the trees again. Maybe you want it to match the, the, the words. Use that little eyedropper, okay? You can change the corners. You can add a caption space if you want to type words on there. Lots and lots and lots of choices that you can do. So again, there are so many things you can do. I can't possibly put them all into one video, but hopefully that will show you how you can cover up some things and add some text. So. Serve Your Strong Summer Strong Challenge begins April 18th. Well, we also have a Team Inspire the Fire logo. Um, I'm not sure if it would actually go on this one, but if you wanted to add our logo, um, I could send it to you and you can save it to your computer. But you click on that overlays again, and so then if you have something else that you want to put on the picture, you can click here on your own and if I actually wanted to put the Team Inspire the Fire logo on there, like this is one, then it comes up and, whoa, that's pretty big. But I can make it smaller and maybe I just want it to be up in the corner. And so that's how you add your own picture as an overlay. Okay? You can definitely um, make it as big or small as you want, add text to it if you want to and just go from there. So <clears throat> I'm not going to keep that on there. So maybe I didn't like it. So that's come down, I click delete, it's gone. All right, so now I'm ready. I'm ready to save it. So you save, it's gonna come up here and you wanna save it to your computer. It's gonna ask you where, just like you normally would. Name it, Summer Strong and hit save and then you'll be ready, okay? So that's how I took an image um, from the internet and edited it. Now, 
let's say I want to actually make um, a collage and make my own Facebook cover. Okay, if I want to make my own Facebook cover for my challenge group, you click collage. And maybe I want to go, um, I'm going to run a Pio challenge group. So you might not have all these saved, but basically you could go to the internet and save any kind of pictures that you want. Okay, or go to Beachbody and find pictures. So I want to use this picture and I want to use, um, oh goodness, we can make this as much as we wanted to. I want to use this picture also. Okay. So it loads them up. Hopefully soon. So you're not sitting here wasting your time. All right. And that is definitely not what a Facebook cover looks like. It's a square. So if you want to actually make a Facebook cover, or you could use this for any kind of your post um, on Facebook or Instagram. But I want to make a Facebook cover. So I'm going to come over here to my layouts. All kinds of options that you could choose from layouts, but there is one called Facebook cover photo. Choose one that you want. Come back over here to your pictures and you just drag and drop them in. Okay, so that, I'm not really liking that. That looks a little bit too, um, I need to maybe make it smaller. Or maybe I want to put this one over here. Maybe it will fit better in there. Then I can take my little arrows and drag it to where it kind of fits. All right. And then maybe I want to put this one in here. Maybe drag her down. So I can't really see everything. So maybe if I take my arrows here and then move this one a little bit. And then make her smaller. All kinds of choices that you can do here. You just kind of move them around. There we go. All right. Okay. And so maybe I don't have anything here that I want. I want to maybe leave space for putting text. So I'm just going to leave that blank. If I click this X right here, it's going to go away and then it's going to make this picture bigger. All right. So I'm going to leave the space there, but I'm not quite done. All right. I want to choose the color of the background. So again, here's the eyedropper. So if you wanted to choose something that matched um, on there, you wanted to choose the actual color um, from one of the pictures, totally, totally can do that, okay? All right, so now, before you do any kind of adding text, this is where you can change your spacing up here. You can change your corner rounding. You can do all kinds of options, and now, I'm ready to add text. So what I do, actually, I want this to kind of come up a little bit so we can see that word pie up. All right, now I'm ready to click edit. If I was completely done and I didn't want to do anything else to it, I could click save and call it a day. But I want to add some text, so I click edit. Edit says, are you sure that you're completely happy with your collage? Because once you are, you can't come back to it. So I'm ready to open it up in editor. Now, I can't drag these pictures around. They are stuck where they are. So over here, I'm going to place some text, just like we did before. I'm going to find a font that I want, and I might say, add text. And I'm going to say, um, team inspire the fire. Bye. Okay. Team Inspire the Fire. I'm ready to drag it over here. That little box will move. Okay. And I don't really want it to be that color. It's too dark. So I can change the color. Maybe I want it to be um, all one line. So I could drag this and now it's going to be one line. But it's too big for my space. So I can scoot it in and out and pick the size. Okay. If I don't want it to be that small, maybe I come back in here and edit it, and I hit enter, and now it's two lines. I want it to be centered. Okay. Now I might actually be able to make it a little bit bigger. So drag it in here, and now I'll see if I can make the font a little bigger. Yeah, there we go. 
and that fits. Team Inspire the Fire. And maybe one more thing I'm going to say starts. Maybe I like this one. Add text. I'm going to say starts April 18th. Okay. Again, I'm going to drag it over here. Okay. Change the color. Maybe make it bigger. I might make it two lines. I might center it. Okay. And you don't really have to change the size of this box, but I always do. Starts April 18th. And maybe you don't like that font. So maybe you just come over here and you choose a different one. There we go. Okay, I can read that a little bit better. All right. So there's other, if you're a sparkly person like me, which you might not want to, but I like to sometimes, I come back over here to my little overlays and I click on sparkle stars. And sometimes I will just put one of those on my picture just because it's fun. You don't have to. Totally up to you. All kinds of choices that you can do. Okay? So now I'm ready to save. Same as before. Save to my computer. Find a spot where you want it to save. And I'm going to name it um, Bio Cover Photo. Okay? Save. And you're saved. Now you're ready to upload it to Facebook. All right. So I'm going to click Stop Share. Hopefully you learned a little bit about PicMonkey. There's all kinds of options that you can use. Um, you can do things on your phone. But some of these that we do for Facebook cover photos and everything, I like to actually be on a computer and edit the image um, rather than using just some of the, the apps that we can use. All right. So Ask questions if you have them. Definitely um, just play around. I learned by playing around. Um, that's the best way I think that you can find out all the different options that you have. All right. Enjoy and um, good luck and happy image making.